And welcome to another Power Pack edition of Voices of African American. Tonight, it's all zodiacal. Yes, it's that time again. It's that time again, the big, big daddy of the Zodico Fest. And with me, coming on set at this time, to really take us through all things Zodico, the granddaddy of the Zodico Festival. It's been 36 uh, years here. It's uh, Miss Lena Charles. So uh, she's always welcome on our set. Lena, welcome. Thank you. Thank you all for having right. us. And Zodico, it'll have you tilting, it'll have you leaning, it'll have you stepping, it'll have you strutting. Uh, the music that you know and love in this area and region, and this year will be second to none. It's going to be a dynamite time with dynamite people. Just a wonderful array of guests, and we'll get to that. Uh, but before we get to that, we have some somber news this week, and I know your hearts are aching, and as mine is, and that is that we lost the Queen of Soul, Aretha Franklin. So we just want to pause and, and, and take a moment on that because she meant so much to not only uh, African-American music, soul music, but to the civil rights. Yes. Um, you know, during the civil rights era, she paid bail for many of the individuals yes. who were jailed. She supported them. Uh, so she was more than just a singer. You know, so many athletes and entertainers today are just athletes and entertainers. But Aretha, she was a true trailblazer. She was a civil rights advocate and just a dynamic talent, blessed by God, a voice second to none. And so we will uh, miss her. And uh, she certainly left an outstanding legacy. And so let's hope that uh, someone picks up that torch because she certainly showed us um, what is uh, needed in standing up. So a very popular, powerful singer but uh, her mission went beyond just singing and entertaining. So we honor the great um, Aretha Franklin. And then secondly, of course, uh, you can't talk about Zodico without mentioning the king of Zodico, okay? The none other than Clifton uh, Chenier. So we honor the king of uh, Zodico and the queen of souls. So the king and queen are honored tonight on this uh, program. There he is with his crown. So Zodico, yes, um, I wish he had uh, lived to see its tremendous international popularity. It was it was international uh, during its last years, but it, be, it has become a tremendous international uh, sensation. And you can't go anywhere in the United States without Zodico. And when I was growing up, and to show you how things have progressed, in the 70s, uh, Lena, uh, we didn't know about Zodico in the 70s. Zodico, <laughs> if you would have said Zodico to us, what? That's like speaking uh, Russian or Polish or, or some strange alien language. And now none other than Chubby Carrier, who is my uh, uh, favorite, he was performing in downtown Columbia, Louisiana in Caldwell Parish a couple of years ago. So it has spread and it's becoming as popular in North Louisiana as it is here in South Louisiana. So Zodico has really taken uh, wings. So we salute the late, great Clifton uh, Chenier uh, and everything he did for uh, the culture and he did for Zodico Music, the uh, ambassador, the promoter of it. So and I know uh, you uh, love Zodico and of course you have been there um, since the beginning of this uh, great festival. Um, Tell us, uh, I always like to give people history because we have short minds when it comes to history, when it comes to the um, formation of certain enterprises. And uh, it didn't get to be 36 years, you know, alone. It, I mean, it needed help <laughs> there. And at the long time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And at the beginning, if we go back almost 40 years ago, many in the community were saying that Zodico was, you know, dying. It was in his death yes. throes, you know. Yes, that's right. But uh, a man you and I both uh, greatly admire and love, Father A.J. McKnight and others, you know, yes. decided to pump some life into it. So I'll let you take the story. Well, I, I got a comment on uh, our, our King Clifton. Yeah. And, um, you know, um, he, um, he brought that international flavor for his music, and that's why he was the king of Zodico because he had it in his bones to play. Oh, yeah. 
But he, he, you know, you talk about Aretha traveling in the buses, the buses yeah. which was the station wagon. That's <laughs> right. That's right. That's correct. They said it was the station wagon. <laughs> was the was the uh, the vans buses? They didn't have the big vans, or there was RVs now. Some of them have RVs yeah. when they travel all around, or the buses. And but they had the station wagons, and they had certain places that definitely they couldn't stay at the hotels. They had the guest houses, That's right. and. Um, they uh, they traveled all over, and you know you gotta really love music to face, you know the obstacles that they had just to yeah. to play their craft, you know. Yeah. And uh, so when I talk about the king Clifton, well when he traveled, he always felt his crowd. So sometimes he hit him with that blues, <laughs> he hit him with you know he hit him with a, he mix it up with a little mix jazz, a little then he to give him a little taste of Zadie. So he just kept feeding it to him because it depended upon where he was that he could play the music the way he wanted to. And, um, you know, and the young folks um, that are coming up, they call it Nouveau Zydeco, um, they have to study themselves to show themselves approved. And they have to really study. When we talk about, you say Zydeco was dying, it was actually the Creole culture was not was not recognized and mm -hmm. wasn't being passed on to the next generation. Um, the old la la music, mm -hmm. nobody wanted to hear that. There was the grandparents or the, the parents uh, la la or people that lived in the country and they worked real hard and they used the music to entertain themselves. And um, the music was a release. And from Armady, you know, playing the house the house dances and, 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 and his untimely dead as a result of his ballads, you know, just telling the story, the struggle of the people. And then, you know, I think he was the one that kind of helped ignite the uh, women's movement because he would tell a plight of the women and that's why, you know, he was, he was uh, hated the men that was yeah. doing all of the abuse, yeah. didn't like that, you know? Like so it, 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 it has its roots. And uh, when Father McKnight came with the treasures of Opelousas, they say, you know, they knew about the roots of Zydeco, they knew about the music, but their interest was about the people themselves, the Creole culture. The culture was so rich that the culture wasn't being recognized, wasn't being respected as being uh, the authenticity of the people that live in Southwest Louisiana was just ignored. Uh, you had um, the same situation with the um, the Cadians and, and the Cajuns, but you know we gotta admit that they did a marvelous job of working on recognizing their culture. Yes. And uh, and they didn't stop until their culture was respected and adopted and it was spread. That's right. So Father's push was to get the Creole culture to gain that sti that kind of respect. How could we do? What what little part that the treasures of Opelousas could do? And they came up with the music and putting on a festival. Mm. And so taking the la la music out of of the back porch, out of the uh, house dances, and putting it main stage on the flatbed trucks <laughs> in a bean field and calling it Zodico. I mean that's that's where it all began. That's where it all began. And you know. And uh, thank God it began. And you know, you, I know a lot of times people said, "Well, if Father knew it would have been international, <laughs> he'd have copyrighted that word." <laughs> well, he had an opportunity to do that, but he didn't want to do that because the whole thing was if you spread the culture, culture. through the music, then how would you want to just contain it? That's right. You have to let it grow. Let it grow. And it is international now. It is. It is national. And uh, all of these guys that are traveling, they're on the road in those buses and those RVs now. They play at these venues. The people love them in California, uh, you know, from uh, Colorado, yeah. Chicago, anywhere that they go, they talk about where they come from. They do. And people want to come and see where it all began. They do. And that's why I think the it, we no way tied because we're talking about the roots of the culture 
that's what's expressed at the original Southwest Louisiana Gospel right. Music Festival. Mm -hmm. and, w and what I like about it is also that, uh, you know, you sp spread the lineage, uh, the history, and the youth as well as the uh, elderly. Because uh, some of the elders, you know, you like a certain style of Zydeco, some of the young uh, in, uh, individual. And I never thought I would be saying this because I still feel young, but at my, I'm middle age and beyond. So, yeah, some of the youth, you know, they have their own uh, favorites, but there is a uniting uh, yes. force at yes. this uh, festival. And I like the historical aspect that you uh, put in because we have to understand the history uh, of right. it and, right. and honor those who right. uh, fought so long for so little and yet That's it's right. coming to fruition right. now, as you said, it's and international. It, it, you know, Southwest Louisiana is still not the richest part of the country. Mm. So we don't have the funds that they can get in California. Right. They, we don't have the funds that they can even get in Little Rock, Arkansas. Sure. When they, but, but the point is, these guys, these traditional guys, their fathers was the ones that came up with Zydeco right. and with the first Zydeco Festival. They feel that they contribute to their responsibility of keeping the culture alive. When they stay home on Labor Day weekend, they can be anywhere, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. And sometimes um, one of the bands was uh, um, was in Germany, and you know, all, you see what I'm saying? They can be any other place, place than here, but they stay home so that they can play for us. And they don't, they, you know, they know that they're gonna play for us because we're not able to pay them what they're worth. Exactly. But it's not about them playing mm. and making the money at that weekend. That weekend is their playing because they're playing with the long legacy that they exactly. represent. Exactly. And that's and what they're playing on. And when we uh, see them here, I mean, people uh, refer to them by their first name. They, uh, you know, remember some of the stories of how they uh, grew up. So as a Zydeco artist, you truly are one of the family. That's right. You know, and so there's... As a, as a feel there, a familiar uh, feel there uh, with these artists. And right, so that right. makes it just all at home. Right. Uh, and uh, when they say we are one with uh, Zydeco, one in Zydeco, yeah. yeah. Uh, I mean, those yeah. toes tapping. You mentioned people uh, um, talking about Zydeco around the world and internationally. Uh, doing Festival International, I had occasion to hear you know, uh, several people speak about Zydeco. Mm -hmm. And you know, they came down mm -hmm. to Festival International to see some Zydeco artists. Yeah. So yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it's, it's growing like wildfire, you know, it's like. Well, we went to Essence for the fourth year. Yes. And um, the first two years we had, um, we had Reboot and uh, LCDC, uh, we got it, we got in there and, and we had a booth. So we, we talked about the festival, we talked about what yeah. we had in Southwest Louisiana. And then the, 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 uh, the third year, the state of Louisiana put us a, uh, main corridor and then he gave us Zydeco Day was Saturday. So we mm. celebrate the original Southwest Louisiana Zydeco Music fest. Festival. We had uh, Nate Williams and the Zydeco Cha Cha. He played two sets. It was packed. Wall to wall. People from all over. They had so many people from Alabama, uh, Tennessee, you know, just all the surrounding area. Florida, Florida, Virginia. <laughs> we had some people from France that was trying the Zydeco. This year we had Lil Nate and Azadico Big Timers uh, on the main stage there. And uh, so gospel was on Sunday. Zadico, the original Southwest Louisiana Zadico Music Festival, was on Saturday. And Baton Rouge had rhythm, blues, and um, and jazz on Friday. Mm -hmm. So I mean, we you know. The state of Louisiana um, and the uh, lieutenant governor has, uh, you know, showcased uh, Southwest Louisiana on a Saturday at Essence Festival. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's history. That's history. <laughs> that, that, and it shows how easily Zydeco yeah. can mesh yeah. with these other cultures and, and yeah. other music. So, yeah. yeah, that is history. I mean, they could have chosen any other yeah, music, any other. you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. But they chose what's popular down here. <laughs> That's right. That's uh, right. All right, now our third caller tonight, our third caller uh, will win a pair of tickets. We got a, we'll got we give out a set of tickets. The number is uh, 
366-8951. Be the third caller, and you will win a pair of tickets to this great and wonderful event. It gets better and better and better. I always promise that uh, I will uh, <laughs> dance. All right, <laughs> one's out of call, but you really don't want to see me dance, you know. <laughs> it's yes, we do. <laughs> I look like a cross between an art vark and I don't know, uh, I, you know, but it's, it's, it's like rambling and stumbling, but I, I do have a lot of fun and with Zydeco, you have to move. That's one thing about it. My friend, um, when I first came out here said, it's a moving movement. It's movement. It's a dance right, music. Right. It makes you want to uh, go. And so y you can't be sad when you hear that, da -da -da, you know, you have to move. And yeah. so it lifts your uh, spirit. There's a, a therapeutic effect of Zydeco music, as many people have found coming uh, from outside this area. So it's just a wonderful, uh, wonderful uh, festival, uh, wonderful people, wonderful uh, heritage, and of course, it's been growing exponentially. Uh, tell us a little bit about who we can expect for this festival. Well, I tell you, um, we got to start off on Friday. Okay. With them, and I. I, I I got to talk about my sponsors. This is going to be the second year mm. Evangeline Downs Racetrack and Casino is hosting our Friday night kickoff. Okay. And um, they want to get into action. You know, we've moved the original Southwest Louisiana Zydeco Music Festival to the Yamberley Festival ground. So we got no excuse. We got inside is the man stage, whether it rain or shine. And I know. You know, we've been through a lot of oh, weather, yeah. Oh, yeah. a lot yeah. of hurricanes, a lot of floods. And so we said, that's it. That's it. <laughs> the fans are getting older. The mm. traditional uh, music, uh, we, 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 want them, we want them to come and still come, you know, and be able to enjoy it. Sure. So we got it inside, okay? So when we be excited about that because that way, on Friday night, Evangeline Downs, we're going to get the young folks all stirred up with that new rosatic. <laughs> all right? All right. Yes. And uh, Mike Broussard, he's going to uh, kick that off at Evangeline Downs. And they've been having that um, live at Evangeline. It's going to be live Zotico for the, the, the 36th annual. Okay. It's going to be on Friday night. And that'll be hosting it with Stephanie and uh, Carl T., 105, uh, they'll be hosting that at Evangeline Downs on the Friday night. So they got to come out early and uh, enjoy that. You know what? If you think you're staying out too late, just wait till the next morning, 8.30, That's early right. that morning, right. lining up for the big Zodico parade. That's right. Or you can make it down to the courthouse square because at 8.30 to 10.30, we'll be having a breakfast uh, Zodico at the Courthouse Square. Cupid going to oh, be out Cupid. there. Cupid, all right. And Corey Brusso. Corey Brusso. So we're going to have a little Cupid and, <laughs> and a little, little Zodico. we got to mix it all like up. Like I say, it, it yep. melds perfectly. That's that, right. That reminds me, though, uh, a little story, um, and Lena is uh, familiar with this. The um, originator of Voices of African Americans, my old cohort, the late Dr. David Creighton, and um, Opelousas on our radio show one uh, Friday evening, we talked about uh, Zydeco breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that. I remember that. And David and I, we had stories to tell for years oh, after that. Lord, that was yes, Zodico yes. breakfast, <laughs> the pancake breakfast. <laughs> so would you like for me to explain? What yeah, explain that. <laughs> so at the courthouse square, we have these two vans. It's underneath the trees, and we really have a good time. All the business folks around the area have shops will be open. You can go and freak with them. We do have um, Brew and Scoop. We do have the, uh, um, uh, we have uh, Wanda's. We have a lot of other businesses that's located, uh, Java Square, around the courthouse that you can have breakfast. They have also, under the tree, they sell it vegetables and, you know, they have stuff to sell. So the breakfast is on you. <laughs> the music. Now that was the uh, misunderstanding. Go ahead. <laughs> and the music is on us. <laughs> we provide the place and the music, and the breakfast is on you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't get those confused as, as we did back then. <laughs> <laughs> you still can eat. Yeah, you still can eat, but it's on you. <laughs> it's on you. And then about 10.30 when the breakfast is winding down, 
the music winding down from the breakfast, the parade will be passing by because it starts at 10. 10. Uh, it comes all the way down Landry, and then it's going to go to the Yamberley Festival, 1939 West Landry. It's Festival Grounds, and the music starts at the Festival Grounds at 12 noon sharp. Starting it off with our Grammy winner, your friend Chubby Carey. Chubby Carey, Carey. can't go wrong with Chubby. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. He, we call him, he is our Grammy winner, but I call him our ambassador. Yes. He's our ambassador because he's all over the local community. That's right. And whether he's on the road or not, he takes the time to give back in the, in the community. That's and right. he's our ambassador. That's true. He tell them about where, where it all began. Too. That's it. That's it. Well, we kick it off with, with, with Chubby. And then right after that, it was Nathan Williams and the Zonic Cool Cha Cha. Another favorite. Oh, yeah. yes. A big time favorite. Big time. People love him from all over. <laughs> and, you know, his energy. No, I don't. I, I mean, you got to see it. I don't pay for me to tell you about it. Oh, yeah. You have to see it. Oh, he can yeah. really, he is an entertainer. He is. He Inventive really is. and creative. Yes. And, very <laughs> <laughs> and he invites the audience to, That's right. to become more creative. That's yes. right. Oh, yeah. He will not stay on that stage. He'll be down there. <laughs> yeah, with you will have people. to participate. Definitely. That's it. And <laughs> then, listen, we won't miss a beat because here, okay, we got one big great, two big great, Gino Della Foss and French Rock and Boogie. Wow. Yeah, it can't go wrong with Gino. That's right. right. The Delafonte family is going to be in the house, and right after hit, we're going to give them. We got to give them a little taste of Nouveau in there. Okay. Little Nate and the Zodico big timers. Big timers. <laughs> and Steph Rito, homegrown right there by Lavo by way of Texas. And Steph Rito is going to be there with his outlaws, and in closing it out for the evening, we're going to bring in Swallow, Elton, Basil. Allen Parrish, Acadian Parrish, Crowley, Eunice, Leroy Thomas. Leroy and Thomas. And the Zodico Roadrunners. All right. That's a card. Huh? That's a card. Yes. All right. I told you it was going to be bigger and uh, better than ever. So come out, have fun. You can't help uh, but have fun, you know. And, of course, this is a Zodico Fest for the whole family. And that's the wonderful thing about it. The whole family can enjoy, renew your heritage, that great cultural uh, tradition. And, again, toe-tapping, literally toe-tapping. Fun, family, and food. Food, 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 traditional food. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, you, when you're dancing and you're, you're drinking, you're having a good time, mm. you want to eat some good food. Right. Yes, That's we'll have that as well. But the, right now, uh, John, I have to tell you, you know, we still, people are still, it's a, a big year for people getting into the parade. We still have, uh, they can go on www.zotico.org and mm -hmm. get the application and pull it down. And your drop-off points will be Don's Car Care, as well as uh, Med Express. Okay. You can drop off the parade applications. We have a political package as well okay. for all of the candidates that want to be part of the parade. All right. We have Voter a package registers. in the parade. Okay. We have a package on the ground for them. So we want to just try to do our part to give them okay. exposure okay. on the streets as Good. well as on the ground. Good. So we have that. Uh, and, and I like that uh, as we move toward, uh, you know, our elections, mm -hmm. uh, it's great to have fun. And, of course, we must remember our culture mm -hmm. and heritage, but we also must as I mentioned with Aretha Franklin, you know, she uh, picked up the baton as it relates to our civil rights. The basic civic duty you have is to vote. That's right. basic. That's nothing special. Right. That's the basic duty you have. So uh, with these great festivals and they're educating you about um, uh, politics or at least having uh, information for you to pick up to uh, read at your uh, leisure, that's great. That's what you should uh, be uh, wanting to do now because we need to have the greatest turnout in history to right. show that we control our elections and that we will take advantage of our basic civic duty, which is voting. Well, you know, I always say I'm coming back to talk about yeah. politics. Yeah. And we, we never get to do it we until it comes, fits, a festival yeah, season comes around again. But we don't, we don't, um, we don't promote one candidate on the other. But what's exciting about it the people complain because they say there's too many people running. Mm -hmm. The people complain when there's nobody running. running. <laughs> they do. They do. But guess what? With as many folks that decide that they want to participate in the political process and they want to represent either on the city council, parish council, school board, mayor, um, uh, uh, um, any 
offices within the municipalities that they want to run for, the more people you have, the more you can have people participate. That's right. The more you can get the vote out. That's true. And the more we get the vote out, then people will be engaged in the issues that they want this particular candidate to make a change in. That is and true. then you can hold them accountable, okay? It says, well, you know, if if you out there and you've been voting a while, you can't say that you haven't lost a vote because your candidates probably have lost and you probably had some candidates that won. That's right. But either way, when you participate, you know what you want to see in that person that win because it's just not your person that you voted for. You still want, should be able to work with them to try to get some of those things done until election comes around a long time. I like to say, People say you can vote them in, you can vote them out. Mm -hmm. But I like to say every election is a redo. You can redo what you decided <laughs> the last four years, right? right. <laughs> or you can change it. You're Either changing. way is a redo. That's correct. That's correct. So please take advantage of your uh, civic duty. Uh, you know, it's uh, just shameful that we in, uh, and this uh, great lady in my background right over my uh, shoulder, uh, pushed uh, voting uh, rights, pushed uh, civil rights. So please, in the mantle of she and many other great heroes and sheroes, uh, go out and take advantage of the basic civic uh, duty you have, which is uh, voting. Stand up and be counted. Literally, stand up and be counted. As I've said a couple of times over the last years, literally uh, a couple of votes can decide it. We have a, had a school board election where three votes yeah. decided it. And we have seen how close On presidential and levels, yeah, yeah, yeah. national and state yeah. and levels and local levels, mm -hmm. how, you know, our current president won, uh, you know, Michigan by two votes per precinct. Let me say that again, two votes per precinct and 80,000 votes in those three critical electoral uh, states, you know, uh, Wisconsin, Michigan, and, and Pennsylvania. So right. your vote does count, whomever you wish to vote for. You know, we're not uh, telling you who to vote for, but telling you that you must vote. Um, Do you think they want these tickets? Oh, yeah, they're the tickets as well. <laughs> All right, so again, the tickets, 366-8951, 366-8951. One final word on voting, as I discussed with my students uh, last uh, week. Um, the countries of uh, Australia and Belgium, and there are others, uh, if you don't vote, it's treated like a misdemeanor. You get a ticket. Really? Yeah, you, exactly. And I, I was surprised when I first learned that uh, at UL. Uh -huh. uh, you get a ticket. You are fined. So if your name is on the voting rolls, you don't vote, and there's no uh, reason, you know, you just don't want to vote, then you are fined. Now imagine how much more that would add to the voting rolls if that was enacted here. I, I don't really want to twist anybody's arm to do their civic rights, but I mean, it's downright shameful that we don't have more people uh, voting here. So right, right. who knows, maybe that'll be a, a proposal by one of our budding uh, candidates. So uh, just take advantage of your civic that, duty. That, that would be a way to get people to vote. Yeah. But the other reason that they should vote it's because you live in a gerrymandered state. Yes, yes. And so your vote is already diluted. Yes. Or your voting rights are already diluted. So if the but the only way you can change that mm -hmm. is when you go out in the masses and mm -hmm. vote. Doesn't matter how they do the lines, that's right. you can make a difference. And that's what I try to say or tell people. The more people go out to vote, the more they don't have to worry about how the lines are drawn, because that one vote adds up. That's right. All right, so again, the third caller, 366-8951, uh, call in. This is a wonderful uh, event. Uh, you do want to uh, go, and, you know, we have free tickets here for the third caller, 366-8951. And while those callers are queuing up, uh, let's talk about some of the uh, instruments. When I came down here, one of the... Uh, uh, oddities to me, and it was an oddity to me because in the uh, late 60s and early 70s, my uh, mother and grandmother, uh, we didn't have uh, modern amenities such as the um, uh, washing machine uh, and the uh, dryer. Of course, you know, you hand wash your clothes and you hung them on a clothing uh, line. And one of the instruments used 
to w with uh, lye soap or you know some uh, other uh, type of soap uh, was a scrub board and yep. literally you know you had a tub you had the scrub board they sit and you know so that's what I was used to so when I saw that around someone's neck with them with some spoons I, you know it, it, it pulled me and that is what is really first pulled me into what was happening I'm like what else happened you know yeah. so speak a little bit about the instruments uh, the the choices and the inventions that Zydeco musicians have come up with well I had an opportunity to play the scrub board um, two times on the main stage and other times just hanging around my neck. It's not as easy as you think. <laughs> <laughs> no. To keep up with the rhythm, mm -hmm. you know, it's not as easy. Once you have it, you think you get, oh, you get all cocky, <laughs> and before you know it, you out of, <laughs> you out of way. Right, yeah. But um, it's contagious. Mm -hmm. It's contagious. And the times that I did go up, uh, when I was invited up, the music had, had gotten to a pitch. The artist was really in, in into his own. The band was really alive. And then, I mean, you just fell into it. You just, just fall, fall into, into it, it because the music is just, it just it's so captivating, you yeah. know? And you got that rhythm going, going. and before you knew it, I can't believe it. I'm, doing, <laughs> I'm doing it. I'm actually doing it. <laughs> I'm doing it. But it just to think about, um, we talked about a music that brought people together after harvest or at the end of the day, of the work day. Mm -hmm. So they used what they had on the farms. They used the things that was around, you know? They used that empty bucket and they turned it over and that was a drum before they could afford to buy drums, sure. you know? And they, they it, it, when I go to Haiti, it reminds me of some of the instruments that they make out there as well. They okay. still have a lot of those kind of instruments that look so weird, but it, it makes music it's it, rhythmic it, it, yeah it's so rhythmic the yeah. music comes out of it and it's deep and it's rich it's part of the culture the key to zodico and the people that play zodico it's connected to the land i always you always stress that yeah. I, I do yeah. i have to because you you know a father did say you know when you identify people the you identify them by their land oh, yeah. by their land base and uh, by being the father of the cooperative movement, he understood when he went to the farmers and the people in the rural area, when they started talking about their common denominator of what was, what, what, what was the main problems, it was all centered around their livelihood, which was the land. The land. And the richness of the land, I think, comes out in the music as well. Oh, absolutely. So when you talk about these instruments that are made from what they had, but it's all connected to the land. That's the root. The root of the people, which is Creole, is the land. The root of the music is the land and the Creole people. So Zydeco is the, is the dance, is the uh, snap beans. <laughs> and uh, the place is... Um, it's coming out of the field, you know, <laughs> it's coming out of the field. Whether it was on the flatbed trunk, uh, truck in Plaisance or coming out of the bean fields or coming out of the cotton fields, you still connected to the land. Yeah, exactly. The land, uh, the music, the people, the culture, it's all uh, roll into uh, one. And uh, of course, Zydeco uh, has expressed itself uh, beyond our borders. I. I really love that about the uh, heritage and the uh, heritage and culture. Uh, you, I mean, you just have to uh, understand it. You have to uh, continue the uh, education, continue the uh, teachings, and if you do that, then the next generation, we won't have a situation as we had in the early '80s, whereby people were wondering literally whether or not the legacy would continue. Now we have, uh, as you mentioned, the, the Nouveau or New Jack uh, Zydeco artist, along with the traditional artists. So it all melds together to make a beautiful uh, sound. And uh, when I go to uh, the Zydeco Fest, that's, that's great seeing uh, the young uh, people uh, and as well as our grandfathers and grandmothers. So right. the culture is alive. It's, and it's alive. It's it's on. And when you get there, you know, uh, we have a dance contest spontaneous from the main stage. Anybody can join in. We have people that 
dance in Zydeco for the first time, if they feel that they can do it, <laughs> they can get in the dance contest, you know, and they right. may go home with a trophy, you that's know, right. I mean, a maybe king and queen of Zydeco the, for 2018. But that's the fun of it, you know, it's the spontaneity of getting the people mm. in a crowd and doing uh, things that they, they come, they coming out of their box. They, and look at the bragging rights. Oh, yeah. When, they, yeah. when you go home, oh, I was at the Zydeco Festival. I danced till this time, till that time. I was in the contest. That's it. Oh, yeah. It's, it's going to be fun. And um, we also have um, a dance contest on social media. Okay. And uh, when, they, when my people, you know, these, these young folks is telling me all of this stuff, oh, you have a dance contest on, the, you know, on social media. Social media. So they started telling me about it, you know, and, and they said, and I said, okay, okay, we'll go for it. Okay. So around the 30th, they'll submit a lot of videos, and then they'll judge which video, you know, and then okay. they'll get uh, be invited to the festival, mm -hmm. and then they'll get their prize and stuff from the main stages. So it's just a new way of trying to reach out to oh, the young folks. And they, they go back and forth on those phones all day. Oh, definitely. And they commenting, and then they can post their own video of them dancing, you know, enjoying Zodico. Mm -hmm. And it has to be the music of one of the artists that's playing, though. The, the, the dance have to be of the music of one of the <laughs> artists that's played. So. <laughs> Uh, and as, one of the as the only requirement. <laughs> as the only requirement. <laughs> yeah. And, and perhaps you uh, can uh, maybe set up a, a, a streaming of the show and they can have something uh, interactive, you know, uh, that would go online. No, they plan on doing uh, live from the, um, okay. from the site. They plan on doing that, you oh, know. Great. When you, you see, I say day. <laughs> day. And, 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 of course, our kids, they live in a, a yeah. another world, the digital world. Yes. You know, everything is uh, digital, so... Yeah, that brings a new flavor, a yes. new uh, yeah. uh, momentum behind it. So, yes, uh, you know, great. I talked about, um, you know, Evangeline Downs kicking off with the kickoff. Yes. So another person that's very instrumental to help us every year is Brother Jay. Oh, yeah. Brother oh, yeah. Jay Avalo, he's working on our um, video now for the website and stuff. And uh, we, you know, we got a lot of promotion. And when those final weeks, you're going to start seeing mm -hmm. us all over and say, Hi, Miss Lena, everywhere. Well, it's, it's, they plan it. They plan it that, that way. That, that, that's you're going right. to pop up here. You're going to pop up that's there. Right. Like, but Jay is doing a great job that's for us every you, year. Where you going to go? <laughs> to the Zodico. <laughs> where you going to go? To the Zodico. Zodico. Yeah, so yeah. That's right. That's yeah, you right. see people pop up here and there. <laughs> uh, I mean, it's infectious. It that's gets right. in your blood. That's so. right. And uh, Lafayette yeah. Visitors and Convention Center, uh, LCBC, Ben Berthelot and his crew, they've been with us uh uh, for, well, it was Gerald, bro. Okay. Then Ben comes in, yeah. and Ben's the man, and we just thank them all for the, their support and their help, you know. Um, and then we have the uh, tourists. Uh, we, I call them the bookends, St. Landry Parish Tourism and Opelousas Tourism, all doing their part. Boy. The breakfast would not be able to do the breakfast without the city of Opelousas, mm. you know, uh, helping us with that, and they put on that for us. And, so we just excited about them, and then our the Louisiana Lotto um, been helping us out for the okay. last couple of years. So those are our corporate sponsors, and it, and it's important for us to know that they believe in us. And then we got so many in kind. We got major sponsors. Awesome. We got the ones that are coming in at a level where they're comfortable with, and the in kind. Those that come and come share, I got something for you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we'll take that too. You yes, take that too. and it, yeah. it means a lot because they feel that they are part of the festival. Uh oh, we have a first call. Okay. Yes, caller, go ahead. Caller number one. Caller number one, go ahead. Call back. Call back. All right, that's caller number one. Uh, all right, the third caller. Uh, of Free pair of tickets, and we've had the first caller, so call back and uh, a free pair of Zodico Fest tickets. You right. can't go wrong. Toe tapping, toe right. tapping. Right. Tell us about a, a couple of do's and don'ts. I know we always have do's and don'ts. Well, we always have do's and don'ts. You know, we don't, uh, since we have everything convenient for them, you know, and we have the drinks and we have all the food that they would want, mm -hmm. so there's no reason to bring an ice chest on the ground. So, um, you know, uh, we that w that's one of our don'ts. And the other thing about the um, 
we have the food so there's no barbecue pit and we don't want any pits in the parade as well you know on the parade route and stuff like that um, but it's it, it just we want just people to come and just have a good time yeah. you know we have St. Andrew Parish a uh, sheriff uh, Opelousas Police Department and um, St. Andrew, Andrew Parish Marshal they're all providing security all right call a number two call a number two Call back. All right, call back. So they're going to make sure that everywhere everywhere the festival is involved in is safe. Mm. So when you put your chair down on the festival ground or you put it inside the building, it'll be right there when you come back. <laughs> <laughs> Good yes, deal. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So we're looking forward to it. You know, But that's some of it. It's not that much. Just bring yourself. You don't have to bring anything else but yourself and your family and your friends. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, so Lena's going to give the lineup uh, once again, but uh, we've had two callers. The next caller uh, will win a pair of tickets to the oh, Zadico wait. Musical Festival 2018, the 36th annual. All right, it looks like we, we have a winner. All right. Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir. Hello? Hello? Hello. You are the winner. I am? Yes, a pair of Zotico Music Festival tickets. All right. What's your name? What's your name? Doris Sharon Alexander. Dor Doris Sharon Alexander. That's right. Okay. Doris Sharon? Yes. S-H-A-R-O-N, I think. Okay. All right, Doris. Great job. You will have a ball, a great time. Got it. We got it. We got it. And uh, you got to have her pick them up there or here at the at the door there I guess we can leave them at the door huh? over here uh, here or there yeah. it's up to you all right uh, Doris you can pick them up either here at AOC or you can pick them up uh, at the door in Opelousas. You, know, you gotta ask her which one she want to do which one would you prefer because they, they ain't gonna be in two places the one in Opelousas pick uh, up all right you can pick them up at the door in Opelousas Okay, we'll just check with the will call, and we'll have your name on a pair of tickets to the original Southwest Louisiana Zodico Music Festival. All you got to do is bring yourself and a partner. Okay. Okay? All right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that yeah. lady's going to have a great time. She's going to have a good time. She's going to uh, have a good time. You know, the admission is only, you know, if, if she want to bring more than just her and a, her, her good friend or a significant other, they're only $15, and we can keep them that rate. You know, the state of Louisiana is another one of our major sponsors. Mm -hmm. And um, it's very difficult to get that caliber of van for those for that price. price. But because we have people that help us out, and we're still taking sponsors. We still need sponsors. Mm -hmm. And we're always working on keep recreating an atmosphere that from, from year to year, so we need good people to come in and, and help us and support us. Okay. Boots uh, as well. We get we take boots to the last minute. Last minute. But we screen them because we don't want too many people cooking the same thing, you know, <laughs> and all of that. We want everybody to make a little funds and and, and uh if they got a boot and stuff. Mm. Uh, but we got some uh craft boots and uh jewelry and, and uh uh items and people wanna display stuff and they may not wanna do it on the parade route, they may wanna do it on the festival grounds and so we'll be able to accommodate them and sell that space for them as well. Okay. Great deal. And uh, Lena's going to go over the lineup uh, from top to bottom again. Uh, uh, 36, the 36th Annual Zotico Festival. Well, thank you, John, for, uh, for hosting us again. Every year, I look forward to calling John, or he calls me, <laughs> to get on this show because uh, he has a listening audience that um, uh, I get calls from people from Jennings, <laughs> Lake Arthur. Uh, because they've seen See me on show. this show. You know, I'm telling you, it's exciting when you when you know that people are watching. 
Yeah. And they're watching, not just because they don't know I'm coming on, <laughs> but they're watching to see what voices of uh, uh, Acadiana is telling them about, giving them good awesome. information and, gi and giving them good news. The original Southwest Louisiana Zodical Music Festival was celebrate 36 years. That's right, 36 Six years. years. And we do that because you're there. And we depend upon you to be there this year as well. We're going to kick off at Evangeline Downs Racetrack and Casino Friday night. At, the door is open at 9. And Mike Broussard will be uh, the lineup along with Carl T. and Stephanie. That is uh, sponsored by the Evangeline Down and 105.9. And early that morning, the, uh, the lineup is going to be on Wyo Street. If you want to participate in the parade, you can check out the forms on www.zodico.org or you can pick it up at one of our sponsors. The drop-off point is Don's Car Care, and that's going to be on Landry. Don's Car Care, Landry and Bullock, and uh, Med Express. Everybody knows where Med Express is. is in Union Street. You can pick up and drop off your applications there as well. They'll have a lot of places you can get your Zydeco memorabilia, your shirts, your tickets, uh, your buttons, uh, posters, and everything. Uh, they, you look on www.zydeco.org. We have them at Border Millers. We have them at the Tourist Centers. And we have them at um, Tourist Closet. So uh, just try to make it convenient all over the city. We also will have them at Med Express and Don's Core Care. So, all right, you, you're in the parade. We're coming down Landry <laughs> Street. <laughs> and you stop to the courthouse square because the party started at 8.30 to 10.30. Cupid doing his thing at the courthouse square along with Corey Broussard. And I tell you what, that's exciting because you got Cupid and Azotico at the same time. Right. And the, underneath the oak trees is beautiful atmosphere. You're going to enjoy it. If you go to the website, there's some old footage where you can see the people are dancing and uh, doing the line dancing and stuff underneath the courthouse square. So, make it on down to the Amberley Building. 12 o'clock, the Grammy winner, his show, Shelby Carrier, and um, the Bayou Swamp Band. And then we go with uh, Little Nate, uh, excuse me, Big Nate, Big Nate, and the Zodico Cha-Chas. And then we have Gino Delva Foss and French Rockin' Boogie. Then it's Little Nate and the Zodico Big Timers. Steph Rito, homegrown, right there in the bowl by way of Texas, and he'll be joined with his outlaws, and we'll be closing out with Leroy Thomas and Exotico Roadrunners. So that's a full card. That's a full card, no full doubt card. about that. Yep. Can't beat that, can't beat that. And uh, guys, again, the whole family, this, you know, from the uh, little ones to the grandmas and grandpas, it's a Zydeco show for everyone. So and we check us out. Social media is SWLA Zydeco Fest, or just do Zydeco Fest. You can see us. Look for the little man, or you can go to our website www.zydeco.org, and you can pull all the forms. If you want a craft food boot, uh, if you still want a, a food boot, food you boot. can pull up the forms. Parade, everything is on that website. Good deal. Good deal. Now, uh, we told a couple of Zydeco stories uh, <coughs> earlier, and callers, you are free to call in uh, with uh, any story of a uh, previous uh, Zydeco uh, festival or your favorite Zydeco artist or what they mean to you and, and so forth. Um, again, uh, what it means to uh, the culture here uh, to energize the culture, to be identified with the culture, that goes uh for and away as it relates to business opportunities, conventions yes. as well. And you have, uh, as has been stated by um, our city parish government, you know, when, when they go uh, abroad, uh, people say, well, I want to come and I want to uh, hear some of that Zydeco. I want to, you know, uh, soak up some of that culture that you guys have. So right. uh, the word is out, right. okay? The word is out that that is something unique and something wonderful, you know, Grammy, uh, they got hold of it a couple of years ago, and so the word is out. Uh, we have a unique art form, unique music uh, in these uh, in, in this environment uh, with uh, people who love to have fun, love, yes. work hard, and uh, play hard. And they have proven to accommodate even an individual such as myself with three left foot feet. 
three left feet. Not 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 two, but three, three. left feet. <laughs> yeah. So uh, yeah, I always hear, uh, "Come on, come on out, come on," you know. So there's always the urging to get out there uh, and dance, and um, you know, it just lights up uh, the hearts and minds and spirits of people who may have been down, but then now they are uh, lit up and they're yeah. energized, and so. Uh, I just uh, want to thank uh, those who are, have kept the uh, heritage uh, alive. And again, who would have known some uh, 38 years ago? Because if right. you go back, let's say 40 years ago, you know, literally folks were talking. Uh, when I had, you know, this show has been on, this is our uh, 24th year. Okay. And uh, we were talking about Zydeco and how it was a dying uh, art mm -hmm. form. And now it's thriving not only in Louisiana, uh, but all across the nation and all across the world, it's getting uh, hotter and hotter. So what, you have done that. Yes. You have infused right. that energy. And, and you know, John, it's important for us to keep to keep that, the, keep it alive, so that we'll celebrate the thirty seventh, yes, the thirty yes. eighth, the thirty ninth, the 30, the fortieth. The, the reason I'm saying that is, this festival is the oldest zydeco festival in Southwest Louisiana. It is the original that all of the festivals came from the granddaddy of granddaddy That's of right. granddaddy, That's the right. first festival. That's right. It's not only the oldest, it was the first Zodico festival. Mm -hmm. And so from that, from those roots that you see all the Zodico that you see in playing in all of these other cities yeah. and around, it, from that festival. From that festival. Uh, yes, caller, go ahead. Yes, good evening, John. Good evening, ma'am. I just got a couple quick comments for y'all. Yes, sir. <laughs> There will never be another Clifton Chenier, and there'll never be another Aretha Franklin. True. But I tell you what, after Aretha, give me this two. They got two that's close. Give me Gladys Knight, and give me Whitney Houston. And my last comment is, y'all, John, y'all did a real good job of promoting the Zodico Festival. Oh, I'm sorry, one more comment. You know what it is. You know I can get you some votes. You need to run for public office. Well, thank you. <laughs> All right, thanks. I think we'll keep our day job. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They even uh, say, well, you don't even need the money. I'm going I'm to I'm help you. I know. I think I'll keep my money. <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know, I didn't know anything too much. I'm a Creole by, by my family, John. And uh, it was the la-la music of my mama and my daddy. And I and my cousin, uh, Slim's Waikiki. You know, you couldn't pay me to go over there <laughs> when I was in school, you know. Sure. And then we go, get, coming around Father McKnight and the foundation, and then after um, getting uh, getting involved in that point of knowing culture is business. It is business. Culture is business. And then starting to learn the nuts and bolts about our culture and why it was necessary to promote it, starting getting involved and in going to all of the different cultures, activities. We got a product that nobody else has. That's true. And the excitement of promoting that product that nobody else had and getting them to invite it and, like, say, taste your product. Yeah, that's you right. You taste it, you feel Once it, you and you see it. it. Yes. You know, it's real to them. Oh. It's contagious. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I, I don't know if I can make this happen, <laughs> but I'm just going to put this out there now. I don't, I don't know if I can bring it to be, uh, but next year, Next, next year, <laughs> not this year, <laughs> not this year. Next year, we're gonna give her twelve months. You know, <laughs> we've been talking about the instruments, we have been talking about the artists. So hopefully, next year, sitting in between us, we'll have another chair. Will be a great Zydeco artist. And you we, want me to bring an artist? That's, that's right. We've well, talked about the scroll board. We've talked about the squeeze box, the accordion. I we will have, an artist with you, me. Okay. <laughs> we'll have an artist next uh, year, yeah, so to give you a little flavor See, there. early in the morning is rough, but on a Sunday night, it's easy. It's easy, okay. Yeah, they ask for that early in the morning when you're on the, the early morning show. It's rough for these guys to wake up, to wake and up, a lot yeah. of them have jobs, too. But on a Sunday, Sunday. You, next year. <laughs> next year. It's a deal. <laughs> All right. It's a deal. 
I thought you were going to say you were going to play the scrub board next year. Because I could get you on the main on stage the main, this okay. year. I mean, I could get you this year. Okay. And Who I, you want to play with? Well, <laughs> I've been promising that for years and years. So Let's one, put him on well, the spot. That, that's right, that's right. <laughs> one year I will, uh, I will get on the stage and do the old scrub board. Uh, yeah, because I, I, I've always been intrigued by that, as I said, uh, you know, growing up. Uh, that was an instrument of uh, utility in the uh, best household in Columbia, uh, Louisiana, and then to see it used in an entirely different, unique, uh, lyrical, musical, uh, energetic way was just uh, entrancing to me. I, you know, it, it just took me aghast. I, I, I had to take a step back. But uh, well, you know, there, there's a man that retired from. Uh, he was with Chubby for 